I had some people that were asking for some advice, so I thought that I would make a video about what I did and also some advice that I would give to those taking it this year. Learning can be put into two major types, passive and active. Active learning is very intense, but really worth it, as it gives you practice and can really help you to remember what you have learned. Active learning is where you're actively involved in an activity, like doing some maths, questions, or writing an essay. This gives you really good practice as well as testing your current knowledge and finding the places that you need to look at again. My advice would be doing as many questions as you possibly can as it gives you the best practice, tests your knowledge and makes you better at answering questions, which is, after all, what you were tested at. I'd really recommend having a go at the past question papers. They get you used to the format of the exam papers, give you brilliant practice and you get good at exam timing. And unlike other forms of revision, you also get feedback once you've marked your papers as you see what the examiners are looking for, as well as getting a mark. Here is a link to the astronomy papers on the Pearson website. If you mark them yourself, then you'll get a feel for the terminology and wording of answers that the examiners are looking for. If you want to find out what grades that equates to, then I would use the Edexcel mark converter. Again, I'll put a link in the description. Don't forget to read the full question. You don't want to miss a part out and lose some marks. Make sure that at the end of the question you have answered everything it wanted you to and haven't left a bit out. Another thing to remember are the names of the famous astronomers. You can't put the Danish astronomer who lost his nose in a sword fight, you have to be able to write the names, in this case Tycho Brahe. Don't forget the labels on the axes of your graphs. It may be worth in your revision having a look back over some of the graphs that you've already met and learning what their axes are. And don't forget units either. On the topic of units, it's really important that you remember them. Now, some things don't have units like magnitude or ratios. Uh, but if it does have units like parsecs or kelvin, then give the units, otherwise your answer means nothing. Some of the multiple choice questions may have the same answer but with different units. So if a multiple choice question asks you to recall numbers that you have to remember, then it will want you to recall the units too. Now there are a series of values that you have to remember, and you may be asked to recall them in the exam. I'd recommend going and downloading the specification not only so you can check that you know everything, but also because on the last page there is a brilliant list of all of the numbers that you have to be able to recall. And there's also a list of all of the equations that you'll need, including the ones that you are given. I would really recommend going and having a look at it. Now I wish you the very best of luck in your revision over the coming weeks and ultimately the exam after that. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Goodbye.